What's up everybody? Back inside the house today, but it's definitely not as clean as last time. We just got back from the beach, so we're still trying to catch up with some stuff. But today, I wanted to show you another part of farm life that uh, can be interesting sometimes. But today, we're going to be showing you how to castrate. So, should be fun. And for all you fellas out there, this will probably be a little uncomfortable for you but for us we're gonna be castrating two of our young kids today kids that's what goats baby goats are called kids we're not really castrating kids human kids so don't worry about that so for us we ban them because that's easier for us to do and we keep our bands inside our egg drawer in the refrigerator because that keeps them fresh keeps them from cracking keeps them in good shape and I mean, we could go through and do the old MTV Cribs thing of going through what's in your refrigerator, but won't bore you with that today. So for us, we're gonna be castrating two. So we'll grab these bands, head outside. Also have to get our castrator. See, you can tell we just came back from the beach. All the bathing suits are hanging up. So we keep all our all our farm medications and all that stuff in one place and we have our bander so let's have some fun let's go out and castrate some animals all right so we're walking out the band two baby goats mary cameron do you know why we banned the goats yeah, that's the main reason. So they can't make babies. Are they in this one. Are we doing on video right now? Yep. Yeah, so the main reason we do it is so they won't make babies. You can check out Anna Kate still in her pajamas. I don't think she's too excited about any of this she's right over now. It. I think she's done with it. <laughs> All right. All right, so obviously the main reason we castrate and band is so we don't have any babies for lots of reasons. That helps with our kind of planning as far as pasture management and stuff goes as well. But also too, with boys of any breed, if you get rid of their testosterone, if you get rid of their balls, they usually gain their brains back and they act a whole lot better. They're a whole lot friendlier to be around. Now, another thing, especially with goats, Mary Cameron, what is one thing that you know about Shadow, our he's goat? Very, he's very smelly. He's very <laughs> smelly, yes. So goats especially, in my opinion, are probably the nastiest. Smelly animal in the whole entire universe. Yes, they're some of the nastiest, smelliest animals, just gross, oily, greasy. Anyway, so, in order to avoid that, especially if you have goats for pets, uh, to avoid that, if you castrate them early, you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. So it's another huge plus uh, for castrating. Now for us with goats, we castrate right at weaning age. So these goats, they are pretty much weaned. Uh, they're about eight, nine weeks old right now. And the reason why we wait till that time especially is to uh, be sure that they're fully developed, especially that both testicles have dropped, that they're easy to see. Don't hit your head, Mary Cameron. Um, because you want to make sure that you band both of them together. All right. One of our goats, uh, when he was banded, either he had a late descending testicle or one didn't slip down the band somehow. Because at first we thought we had a castrated weathered goat, but it turned out he wasn't. And now we've got babies. Oh, we got Yep. So we got Buster. lots of lots of babies, Buster. which has been fun. So that was a, a good surprise. Buster's here. So let's go ahead and get started. And, and we'll we're going to do Buster first. All right. We're going to do Buster first. Okay. I may have to flip this camera around so you can see a little bit better. All right. Make sure you're holding it, pointing on mama. All right. So Mac is our camera, camera holder for right now. 
You can see if you lay them on their back, it kind of keeps them calmer. And plus, since these, since these are fainting goats, uh, they kind of stiffen up anyway. All right. He's still got a little bit of cord left. Yeah. I was wondering if he still So you can see if Mary Cameron's, Mary Cameron's not making you sick with her filming skills. We'll put the band around the ends of this bander here. A little bit difficult. All right. We'll spread them. Are they just scared? Yeah, they can be a little bit nervous sometimes. Now with some goats, some goats may holler and scream. I'm guessing Buster will. Yeah, uh, maybe. A, he's a pretty squirrely goat, isn't he? Their older brother didn't make any noises. He was pretty chill about I'm it. Okay. I'm gonna do this. All right. Just in case he does. So again, we'll see. We want to fill to make sure you feel two testicles there, and you want to clamp it below where these teats are. You don't want to get too close to them. All right. So we'll make sure everything's opened up. I'll make sure before I release these, I'm going to make sure that both testicles are in here, which I feel... Testicles? <laughs> yeah, I feel both. All right, I'm going to go a little bit below these teats here. And I'm going to slide this off, and it's all done. Good and you boy. can see Good boy. he yeah. didn't know any of the difference. If Mary Cameron even allowed you to see that with her filming skills, we'll have to check Why that out later. But you can see he's banded. Why he's chill, Why? mainly because he loves Emily. He loves to be held. All right, so well, now we'll, we'll let him hop up and yeah. kind of get himself think, readjusted. The other one's chilling with mama. See, hey, boy. and these bands typically what they do, they cut off the blood supply to the testicles. Why does he have to have that band on his little like this pink tail? But, so he doesn't have babies. So he's walking around. He's not really bothered by any of it. But anyway, as the blood flow gets cut off to the testicles, they'll shrivel up and just fall off. No blood, no nothing. And they'll do that within a couple weeks. All right. So we're going to do the same thing here. And Matt, can you make sure you... If you need to back up, you can. Yeah. You're such a sweet boy. So we'll do the same thing. Yes, you are. And grab another yeah, band. As long as I don't choke He likes to be petted on the as long cheek as right I, there. As long as I don't choke on my pet, then he would die. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to be real gentle. I'm grabbing another band out of here. Mac, you may want to back up some, baby. You're filming all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Shep's joining the party. Yeah. Shippy! Hello, Mwah. Shippy! Can I play Shippy? Yeah. He's coming to check it out, make sure we're not hurting him. All right. He's really bonded to these goats. Yep, Shep loves these babies. He's going to be more upset to see him go than, than mama. mama. All right. Oh, I'm going to open this up. Make sure I'm grabbing two so testicles. See, sometimes it's, it's a little bit tricky because they can kind of slip back in. Okay, these are a little harder. He's a pretty developed guy. All right. I don't think so. All right. I've got both of them right there. I'm below the teats. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna um, slowly let them go. Slide the band kind of off. There we go, buddy. Open that back up, baby. I'm not. It's not all the way off yet. Don't pull, guys. Don't pull that much as long as you don't swing and move. There we go, the band's just 
just stuck a little bit. <laughs> no, God damn it. Oop, there we go. There you go. Boy, I know. You did good. All right, both of them are in there. He's down from the feet. So sweet and All right, and he's done. All of the goats are down. All right. So he's chill. Fluffy is so sweet. Buster, do you want to come see your brother? Or you can just lay back there. Oh, maybe you could do All right. Good boy. All right. Everybody's good. Check it out. All right. I think he's going to lay right there. Shep's in there with everybody. Mommy. He wants to stay here. He's just figuring out something's different back there. All right, but that's it. These boys will be chill, chill goats. They won't be stinky, smelly, oily, greasy, and they'll be great pets. They'll be great pets. Right, right, Shep. All right. Well, that's it. We'll see you next time.